We're entering the Butterfly Habitat Garden, which is on the side of the museum. So even in this urban setting, we can create an environment that is conducive to insects. We're going to go take a look and see what we find in the uh, garden. So you don't need to be in the rainforest or even in woods to find really amazing insects. You can go in your backyard or a nearby garden. There's something that you can find in your backyard that is something we can find here in the garden as well, which is a big beetle. And it's a beetle called a Bess beetle. And they are really interesting because they live in rotten logs. And they live not by themselves like most beetles do. They live in a group with their adults, the larva, and the, in the pupil stage all together and the adults and the young communicate, they make noises. There's some good rotten logs that we have in the garden here, so I'm gonna see what we can find. Aha, here we are. This is the best beetle, which is also called a pasalid beetle, and this is its grub or larva. And these guys live together and the adults help take care of the young. It is making a squeaking noise. So it's saying, hey, stop grabbing me. And it makes this defensive noise by rubbing parts of its body together. But it doesn't just do that when it's feeling in danger. It also will do, make that noise to communicate with other beetles and with the young. And this larva will do the same thing. It's able to make some squeaking noises called stridulation and be able to communicate with the adult. And this is something you can find just in a rotten log in the woods or in your backyard. And they'll make tunnels through the wood. They're not digesting the wood, that's not their food. They're digesting lots of things that live in the wood, different fungus and that. I'm gonna take these guys and put them back away so they can get back in their home.